Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to test your network speed. Not your internet speed, but your actual home network speed. Because you might wanna know how fast your computers are interacting with each other uh, before even going out to the internet. Now there's many websites that you can go to to find out your internet speed, like fast.com or speedtest.net. And those are great to test out your internet speeds, but if you have a problem on your home network, the internet speed really doesn't matter if there's an issue on your local network. So I'll show you a tool to easily install on any computer and you can find out how fast your network actually is. The tool that we're going to use in today's video is called iPrev3 and it's a free tool that you can download easily off the internet and it works for many different operating systems. So I'm just going to open up my browser here and this is the URL that we have to download it from. And don't worry about writing this down. I'm going to actually put it in the link in the description so you can easily find it. As you can see here, all the operating systems that it supports is listed, which is almost everything. You have Windows, Android, iOS, Apple, Ubuntu, pretty much everything you need. We're doing the Windows version, the 64-bit version. And of the time of recording this video, version 3.1.3 is the latest one out. It's pretty old. It been, hasn't been updated since... Uh, 2016, but I mean, this is a very basic application and it's all you need. I don't know why you'd have to update it. Maybe for Windows 11. Anyways, let's go into the folder where I download it. And then all you have to do is just extract the files. And there we go. So all the files are now extracted in my downloads folder. And I'll just go inside and it's just two files. You got a DLL and an executable file. So what we want to do is we want to run this application. So we will need to know the path of where it is to execute it because you have to run this from the command prompt. We're also gonna need to know the IP address of the computer that we're on. So we need to do both things here. So the first thing we're gonna do, go to start, type in CMD. Here we go, we got the command prompt and what we'll do is type in ipconfig and then hit enter. And this is gonna give us our IP address of the computer that we're on right now. So we have the IP address here, it's 192.168.1.25. Now what we want to do is change directories into the directory where this file is. We have the path right up here. We can just right click on it and copy it. And then we go back and we have CD and then we can paste it. So we're changing directory to this folder. And now we can see it's been changed and DIR, we listed it and here is the executable file. So now we want to use this computer as a server. So we want to get this set up. So at the prompt, we're going to type in iperf3.exe space dash, and then S for server, hit enter, and we get this prompt for the firewall to allow access. You can just say yes to this prompt. Okay, there we go. And now the server is running. This is great. So now the first part is done, and now we're gonna go to our other computer and we're gonna test it out. We're gonna run the very same thing. We have to download the same files onto that computer, and then we can test the network speed. So I'm just gonna jump over to that computer right now. Okay, so I'm on my other computer right now and you can see I've already downloaded and extracted the exact same folder here on my desktop with the files that we need, which is the same download. They're just exactly the same as you can see the two files are here. I'm gonna go into the command prompt like I did on the other computer. And now what I wanna do is go to the same path where this one is located. So I'm gonna copy it. Then I'm gonna go to my command prompt and type in CD and then paste in the path hit enter and we've changed directories and now we're in the same path of where this folder is. Okay, so now we're gonna type in iprev3.exe space dash C for client, cause this is the client computer. And now we're gonna type in the IP address of the server computer, the one we were just on, 192.168.1.25 and then hit enter. So now we're executing the test. It's gonna start sending packets back and forth and it's gonna measure the speed. And as you can see, we're about 900 megabits per second. We'll get a total here. And there we go. There's our results at the bottom. And we're almost at gigabit speed. So we're pretty optimal right now. This network looks pretty good. There's no traffic issues or anything else that's weird between these two computers. And what you can actually do now is run this same thing on any other computer that you have on your in your house, whether it's a wireless laptop or a, or a computer somewhere else. Uh, and you can test the network speed of each individual computer. Maybe there's one computer on your network that's having problems, and then it just helps you narrow down where the problem might be. So you run the second step, which is the client step from any PC that you wanna test your network from, 
and see what speed it's getting. It could be maybe it's just a network cable that you have to re replace, or maybe there's something wrong with your wireless signal in that portion of the house. So this is just one tool. I found it very useful to test. I use it often on my own, and I think you might find it too. So that's how you test your network speed on a Windows 10 PC. And again, you can do this on almost any operating system. They have versions available for Apple, Linux, uh, all variations of Windows. So if you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you find it useful, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.